Yeah. Oh, here's the uh, the winner semis. Oh, okay. The teammates doing battle. Uh, Dusk, uh, a sort of upsetting soap. Uh, actually, just that. Yeah, that's an. I would say that's that's a medium upset. Yeah, it was a yeah. uh, pretty funny because like. Uh, Dusk was saying about it because he was excited. I'm like, oh, that's awesome, dude. That was that's sick. He was describing how he did the, pulled off the win. And h came over because they had to play doubles. And h I, I was like, yo, h did you hear? You know, uh, h said, I'm so happy for him and for me. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> now h just doesn't have to play so. A little bit of shade to his teammate, but mostly shade towards Jigglypuff. <laughs> Hashtag ban puff. <laughs> well, we're looking to Dusk playing pretty strong here. Yeah. They've practiced quite a bit together historically, so. Yeah. Um, I think Dusk knows what HD wants to do. They play Netplay all the time as well. Oh, that's true, yeah. That blew my mind when I heard that people play Netplay against like local players yeah. together. Oh my god. You, you don't have to travel. It's a to whole play new world. Friends. I don't even know what Melee is anymore. <laughs> I don't have to drive to Buford to play David. Yeah. But it's also different than CRT melee, so there's that. Yeah, like that's the other thing. It's like, ugh, I don't know. Do I even do I even want that experience? Is that even melee anymore? I guess it is because like clearly people are getting good <laughs> while playing netplay, and I'm just like, I'm still in 2014 land. You know, <laughs> I mean, where, you, where depends. you learn one new thing every like eight months. <laughs> Someone makes a post about it, and yeah, becomes, yeah. everyone's like, oh my god, yeah. this new thing. Back in the day, we didn't learn by playing. We learn by talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> like now, now kids just like play and they realize things. That, that, no, that's not true. They okay. That's some not people, true. Some people do though. No. Some people do. No. Some people's whole careers are, are built good off shit, the back. Colin. Good shit. Oh um, yeah, good job. They want your PayPal to pay us. Oh PayPal? Okay. Yeah, I'll do it later. People still don't look at the screen when they play most of the time. It's a, a streamer will talk about a technique or they'll see it on Twitter. For the chosen few, though, netplay has been a huge boon. Oh yeah, yeah, to of improvement. Yeah. I'm just saying, uh, if there's anything that netplay has proven, uh, it's given the increased player base, the increased accessibility of, of, of you know, ha having people to play, uh, is that most people don't look at the screen when they play this game. Yeah. 95, probably higher than. 95%. And it's hard. You have to like blink. You have to like <laughs> eat your Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot to do. You have to, yeah, yeah. We're busy people. Sure. We can't always be looking at the screen, even when we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is this is pretty back and forth, pretty even. Soap's uh, or sorry, Dusk yeah, is Dusk poised. is winning. Yeah, he's he's poised to. This is one of the things. Oh no! Oh, that's a double jump. Okay. It that can always be. look like Falco is winning against in Sheik Falco. Uh, up until the, the percents don't matter hit. as much. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They don't matter as much for Sheik. They matter as much. They matter right. as, that much for Falco. Right, right. But not for Sheik. Right. You could be, you could be dominating. Yeah, and, control. and Dusk, I'm sure, is a little sad here because yeah. just had like an an okay percent lead and like two down throws and a dash attack later. It's that space animal life, though. Yeah. He's still brought it right back in it, though. He's staying, he's staying solid, and that's the important thing. I feel like as Falco, you have to become a very frustrating player to play against, or else Falco's just not good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that true? I don't know anything about Falco, but I think that's true. It's definitely true. From my experience playing against Falco, they're either really annoying or they're really easy. Yeah. And that's that's the dichotomy of Falco. <laughs> that's the that's the spectrum of good and bad. It's because the only way Falco gets to exist is if he makes sure his opponent doesn't feel like they can do anything. Right. So yeah. You have to remove the, your opponent's ability to play the game. I don't think Dusk is quite tired of losing enough yet to where he's like that oppressive, that kind of like oppressive kind of Falco, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you play Kevin, I feel like Kevin feels like a player with a lot of battle scars. You know what I mean? This is someone who's been through some stuff. This is someone he's, play, he's played Peach in Grand Finals multiple times, multiple years, <laughs> you know? And it, it really comes through in how he plays, you know? He's seen some shit. This is someone who's played Drug Box. Yeah, oh, yeah, that too. Oh, no. Kevin grew up in the good old days of Baka for Moe and Drug Fox. Oh, baby. Yeah. Dude, Baka's, he's been doing well uh, where, he, where he is he's, now. He's doing well, yeah. yeah. I mean, Baka's good. Yeah. It translates. Turns out melee skill translates when you travel. <laughs> it is a universal language. 
It's, it's funny because uh, Baka's, uh, his whole like philosophy is he's going to wait for you to make the mistake. That, that'll give him the win, right? You know what? That'll take you... I don't want to say only so far. What's the opposite of that? It'll take you very far. Yeah, it'll take you very really <laughs> far. Flattery will get you everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if what you're saying is true, that people still aren't looking at the screen, oh, then yeah. Baka can simply look at the screen and float. Sometimes. And wait. Yeah. Patiently looking at the yeah. screen. <laughs> For the wrong reasons. Oh, no. No shade to Baka, but I feel like this, this kind of... It kind of shows sometimes, though, when, like, he plays, like, good players and, like, you can wait all you want and, like, they yeah. just, they don't. Yeah, was just, uh, I mean, Baka's good, but I mean, like, real, like, like, to be top players, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a limit to that style. I, I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. But then also on Yeah, feel free to disagree because I don't know what I'm talking about at any given point, so. Unless it comes to the Great British Prediction Show. Yeah. <laughs> We talk about that all, all day. Okay, but this is our modest frustration with Peach, right? Is he, his Peach has been built on that philosophy of waiting till someone messes up. Yeah. And it only took him so far because then Leffen realized, like, wait. Like, wait. What if I wait till you mess up? <laughs> what if I make you mess up? Yeah. Anyway, this is Sheik and Falco. <laughs> no Peach on the screen. Yeah. Still talking about Peach, Peach um, fan advice. Oh, HG won the last game, apparently. Yeah. Um, oh, goodbye. Okay. This is what I mean, right? For us, you see he's getting visibly frustrated. You know? yeah. It's like, I was doing so well, it was even, I even had the lead. And well, I feel, I feel like Dust, Dust knows the story at this point. He knows. He's been, he's been in this situation a million times. He just needs to figure out how to, you know, make his comeback without taking percent. But we are now seeing, you know, h advancing forward in neutral, holding forward on the great stick instead of, you know, right. being forced to hold away. Right. I'm seeing Dust getting nared a lot. Yeah. These pit fights have not been good for him. Yeah. But even before, just like in neutral, getting, you know, HG holds forward and then nares, and then Dusk is like not, not spaced, not spaced accordingly. Yeah. Oh, that was the right choice there for oh, sure. Yeah. So this situation- That always feels good, up smashing with Falco and someone dies. You can see Dust getting, there's the, I mean, not quite, not quite upset, but like disappointed, you know? But, yeah, I think, I think actually Dusk has a pretty good, like, well, sometimes. At times, he has a good, like, mentality for improvement. I think he, he lets games like that roll off his shoulder and he's, like, focused on learning. That's good. Yeah. You definitely need, need that. Yeah. Also, I appreciate that he's not like going for too much all the time. Oh, that was almost really sick. Yeah. A lot. Most of the time, he's not going for too much. He's keeping it kind of, kind of, kind of safe, backing off when he needs to, just to not let Sheik, uh, you know, get a big reversal. Yeah. I think um, one of Dust's main weaknesses is his um, sort of defense in these like close quarter situations right here. Um, like obviously, like Sheik can just tech chase and like. Um, like, like build damage that way, but I feel like he's getting like stray hit a lot of times when he could be spacing more intelligently. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. No. That S mesh was really scrubby. I hated it. <laughs> Over that short pressure. Yeah, just th th that was just a really obvious approach. Like HT was more than ready. Oh. But yeah, it's like, you know, essentially Sheik in this matchup uh, has to weather the storm, right? You know, it's, what's the famous, like, bend like a reed? And, uh, oh, yeah, you gotta be flexible. Yeah, I guess the hurricane. And luckily Sheik is very flexible. Yeah, so, we talked yeah. about that, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> he's just uh, towards around stuff. Yeah. Like, she'll, she'll get in there eventually. Yeah, yeah. Or Falco will, 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 you know, the wind will blow to you. Right? Yeah. The wind will blow your way. I said, eventually. And that's just trying to say in it, but you know, this, this has been the case, right? Where Dustin, even if he gets an early lead, uh, yeah, over, over the course of the game, uh, H12 will just grind it out and make it. Yeah. It's that difference in punish game and being able to secure stocks, you know. Yeah. Um, 
it's partially how the matchup goes, but also it's uh, in the decisions both players are making, right? Yeah. So, it's not just the, the, the characters, but also the, uh, the skill differential as well. Because well, Justice right. is, you know, he's, well, at this point, he's one of the, the best players we have in Georgia, but uh, he's, h is still Mr. 81. Right. Okay, nice. See, like, just like he just doesn't play safe. Like, why did he? Why did he do that dare from so far away? You know, it was it was very nonsensical. I know why. And those are the moments when when he loses. Like that, he lost because of it. Yeah, yeah. He went. He got way out of position. Got like a stray hit. But at the very least, um, uh, it's, even then, you know, the, the sets were, well, like like numbers wise, they weren't that that bad, right? Yeah. Even though, like, you could definitely tell, like, if you had the the, the meta scouter or the like a chart of, you know, like who had the lead for the game. You can see where it starts off, you know, in dust favor, then dips down towards the H yeah. the H fall zone. Um, pretty consistently. Yeah. To the point where it definitely looked like Dusk wasn't gonna actually be able to win any of those games. Right. Despite them being you know being numerically relatively close. Right. So with H advancing to winners finals where I'm sure Kobo will be waiting on the other side.